Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Rajat and today we will be discussing the question how many numbers are smaller than the current number. In this question we are given the array nums and for each value we need to find out how many numbers are in the array that are smaller than this particular number. At the end we need to return the answer in an array. So we are given certain example with the problem. We will first understand how this particular output was generated. So the first input that is given to us is 8, 1, 2, 2 and 3. And when we need to return the answer, we will have an array of same length. We see the number 8 at first. We see that all the numbers are smaller than this particular number. So at the start, there will be 4 numbers which is 1, 2, 2 and 3. Now we will take number 1 we can see that there are no numbers which are less than number 1 so it will be 0 now we see number 2 and there is only one number which is less than 2 which is 1 so we will put 1 as the answer same for this 2 as well 1 for this 3 there are 3 numbers which are less which is 1 2 and 2 so the answer will be 3 over here that will become the output we are looking for so let's clear all this. Let's talk about a very brute force solution. So in a brute force solution, for every number that we have, we can check how many numbers exist which are smaller than this particular number. So when we check this, for 8 we will get there are 4 numbers which are less, so we will return 4. Now for 1 when we check, we see that there are no numbers, so we will return 0 and so on. So as we know that we are checking for each element all the other elements, so the complexity in this case will turn out to be O of n square, which is a very high complexity. Now what we can do to optimize this particular approach? The easiest way of finding out how many numbers are there which is less than any particular number will be when this array is given to us in a sorted fashion. So if the array would be like this, we can simply know with the index of this particular number or any number that there are 4 values smaller than this particular number, 3 values smaller than this number. Now in the case when the values are equal, we need to take uh, special things into consideration. So from the example we know that in case of duplicates, the index will be the first index, this one, which we saw. So now we see that if we know the index of the values in the sorted array, we can easily return the answer. So in order to bring down the time complexity from n square we need to use certain space to hold these particular values. So if we hold the index of these particular values somewhere, let's suppose we hold them like this, the value 1 has an index of 0, the value 2 has the first index as 1, value 3 has index of 3 and value 8 has index of 4. So if we have this mapping with us and now when we reiterate from this array, we can just put the index value at the resultant array which would be 8 has a value of 4 so we will put 4 1 has a value of 0 so we will put 0 2 has a value of 1 we put 1 again 1 and 3 has a value of 3 so this again gives us the same result and now the time complexity is also lower now it's time to code this particular approach. We'll start off with having a result array and we can easily create a clone for the input array. Once we have this array, we'll just sort the result array in order to find out the indexes. And now we need to store this index somewhere. So we'll use a map because it is kind of a key value pair for us. will put the value if it is absent. So we are using a function that is provided by the map 
you can do an if else check as well for the keys if it is present or not once we have this map ready we can again iterate this time on the nums array we can now change the value at this index array directly getting the index from this index hash map at this particular position once we are done we need to simply return the result array and that completes the coding part now let's try to run this code so it ran successfully let's submit this so it got submitted successfully the time complexity in this case is n log n down from n square because we are doing a sorting while the space complexity is o of n as we are using in results array so that's all for today's video do let us know your thoughts comments and query in the comment section below thanks for watching see you in the next one